Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is going to be my Ipsy bag, and I got the red one. So pretty. Just love this little bag. So anyway, let's get right into this. I'm going to try to do a little try-on style today. So the first thing I pull out of my bag is the Bare Minerals Skin Sorrels. So this is like a, a mineral spray, and you just spray your face um, to refresh to bring some fortification and so forth into your skin. So let's just try this. I'm kind of scared. Oh, it's a weird little spray. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to spray spray. <laughs> it's like a serum. That's what it feels like. And that's how it dispensed just now. Probably, I use like four pumps. <laughs> Probably way too much. Well, I'm going to get some conditioning today. Anyway, I need it. I always need it. My skin is always so dry. Put some down here on my decollete. I had a recent breakout or um, I don't know what happened. But anyway, it was just like little bumps everywhere, even down here and on the back of my neck. And I never break out like that. So I don't know if it was something I ate or and then I had a few down here as well on this side and it wasn't really like zit zits. I mean, they were zits, but they weren't like the, you know, bumpy red kind that really have like a, you know, a pimple. All right, let's see. The next thing that I pull out of my bag is, this is called the Dr. Little, Little Lily Fan, Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic Eye Repair Cream. So let's try some of this. Oh, this um, infusion stuff smelled really good. I mean, it's not, it's really pleasant. It's not overpowering or anything. This is awesome right here. This smells really good. All right, so it's a repair cream for the eyes. So let's, I need some repair today. Well. I just heard a big boom outside and all the lights cut off. So, we have no electricity. And there it all comes back on. Ha! <laughs> Y'all get all the surprises with me today. That's funny. Okay. Moving right along. Okay, the next thing that I pull out is the MAC Prep and Prime. Wow. Let's use a little bit of this. I haven't never used that many products from MAC, so it's always a... Oh, this is a white cream. I'll show you what that looks like. So, put that on my nose. Right here on the forehead, my chin, and I'll just spread it out from there. And this doesn't really have much of a smell. And that eye cream though smells really good. Okay. Well, we got some good hydration going on here. I mean, it's natural glow. Okay, the next thing I pull out of my bag is a Koki concealer. It's called Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. It's a cor uh, corrector concealer. And this is in the color light, which is what I need. So let's put on some foundation. And I'm going to go in today with, um, let's see here. Let me go in with this e.l.f. I haven't used this in a while. This is a full coverage oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen concealer. And I'm just going to dab this on with my fingers. Because it will just go faster this way. Okay. 
I like this foundation. I revisited it recently. And it's been sitting for a little while while I tried some other stuff. And I just forgot how full coverage it was and just how really nice it is. So anyhow, I had um, most of my tans faded away so I can use this. This is pretty, pretty light, this foundation is. Um, the color that I'm using is porcelain. 83111 porcelain 7B02EA. So I don't know if you need all those numbers. But anyway, porcelain. So it's a bit on the light side for me, but you know, it works really good. What well, feels good to get foundation on? Okay, I'm just going to use it like this today with my hands. Since I'm in a hurry. Before I ever started using brushes or sponges, this is how I applied my foundation with my fingers. I always did it this way. Alright, let's get into this concealer. I need some concealer today. I slept hard. I got all these circles underneath my eyes. Which, whether I sleep hard or not, I always have them. My skin is so transparent, it just shows. And there's a bit of a yellowish kind of a tint. The undertone in this concealer. Okay. Let me use a makeup sponge and blend this out. I recently placed an order with Koki and I, I need to do a haul video and share some of those items that I purchased with you guys. I've got three or four things sitting over here just waiting on that me to do that video, but I want to get the my boxy charm my ipsy out to you first. Well that's nice. I mean this is a pretty good color, so it brighten you know, it lightens and brightens and I look kind of white as a ghost today, but by the time I get all the other stuff on, the bronzer and what have you, this will be just lovely. All right. So let me set this with some powder, and I'm just going to go in right here with my Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. And I'm just going to use this banana powder here on the left. And I'm just going to set this. Beautiful. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, it's not a full coverage concealer. I can still see some color coming through. But it is it is probably buildable. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll, I'll keep playing with it. And I'll report back to y'all about that. But it does, it does help. It does lighten up. Alright, while I'm in this palette, I'm just going to put on a little bronzer. And just kind of. Take away some of this paleness. Because I'm such a white girl. Looks like it's clouding up the rain again today. Okay. Now the last thing I have in my Ipsy bag is this it's a lovely little blush set that out of the way and then I cashed in some rewards 
points for a little Luxie brush. This is an angled brush, a small angled brush, and this is the Luxie 131, which I'll use that here in a little bit. But anyway, I wanted to show it to you. But that's one I didn't have in my collection, and uh, I, I love these Lux, those Luxie brushes. Okay, so this is from Kaleido Cosmetics. Can y'all see this? And anyway, it's cruelty free. It came in this little box. And the shade is Skin Blush, certified vegan and gluten free. Comes with a little mirror, but there's no applicator. But anyway, it's a really light peach color. So let's let's use this and see how it applies. This is a light color. So if you're one that likes really light blushes, this would really appeal to you. This has got... It's got like some gold in it. This would work better for me as a blush topper. Because it's so light and I'm so light. I, I And I like that that gold you know over top of a blush but anyway this works kind of like almost like a highlighter too not bad not bad at all so anyway not my favorite but i could definitely use it as a blush topper so i wonder why the box, back of the box says prom queen Hmm. 